these are all the essential products you need as a beginner to do a full face of neutral makeup now these products are very very affordable so keep on watching as i'm going to be showing you a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to use all these products to achieve a flawless beginner friendly look hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here you're welcome my name is ruth and i do all things beauty skincare and lifestyle please subscribe if you want to enjoy my contents like this video drop a comment and turn on your post notification don't forget to share as well now in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all the essential products that you need to do a full face of makeup as a beginner first of all you want to start by prepping your skin a good skin prep is almost as important as the makeup itself because a good skin prep lays the foundation for the makeup it ensures that your makeup stays in place all day and doesn't become cakey and patchy later in the day yeah so first what you want to do is you want to start on a clean base make sure your face is clean and then you moisturize well moisturize so i have moisturized my skin already but what i use i use this simple hydrating light moisturizer it is perfect if you have oily skin even if you have dry skin so i use a simple hydrating light moisturizer you need to moisturize your face i also go in with my sunscreen just for that sun protection throughout the day and for that i use the dr rachel anti-aging moisture sun cream with spf 60 plus 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 so this is what i use for my sunscreen now i have already done my skin prep before filming this video i used my simple hydration light moisturizer and my dr rachel sunscreen now the next step after prepping your skin is to use your primer yes now primer is a very very important step especially if you have an oily skin because what primer does is primer helps to control oil and prevents your makeup from looking oily after a while now the primer i'm using is the la girl face finity all day primer yes so we are going to go in with that next you apply a generous amount of the primer to your face very generous amount now for those of us with oily skin you want to look for a mattifying primer a mattifying primer is going to help to control that excess oil but if you have a dry skin you have to look for an hydrating primer because you already have a dry skin if you use a massifying primer it's going to now make your makeup look very 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 dry and patchy so you look for an hydrating primer that will add hydration to your skin you know to make that your makeup look plump and really really nice now after going in with our primer the next thing we want to do is to work on our brows so for the brows we are going to be needing a spoolie yes a spoolie brush this is what it looks like it looks like a mascara one so you are going to need your spoolie brush this what the spoolie brush does is to help you to put your hair in place for your eyebrows so you go in like that into your brows yes after going into your brows with your spoolie brush, you will need your eye pencil, a brown eye pencil. So this is a brown eye pencil, but I do not use this anymore because this is already small and I do not have a new one. So what I do is I use this instead. But instead of this, you can decide to go for a normal bright eye pencil, which is more cheaper than using this one so we're going to draw our eyebrows starting from the bottom of the brow starting from the bottom of the brow just draw a line mimicking your natural brows
after joining our eyebrow, just so the brow doesn't look too thick, we are going to go in again with our spoolie brush and just brush our brows just to make it look lighter and that brow not too thick. Just a little bit softly, use soft, gentle strokes. The next thing you need is your concealer. You need a concealer. Now for the concealer, it is advisable to get a concealer that is one to two shades lighter than your normal skin tone. Yes, one to two shades lighter. Just so you know, I light the part, some parts of your face, which we are going to be talking about later. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fun. LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fun. So what I'm going to do is... Just put a little bit at the back of my hand. Put a little bit at the back of my hand. After that, I'll go with my concealer brush. This is what it looks like. Now, to get these brushes, they, they sell sets of brushes. Very affordable, small, small ones that you can get as a beginner. Now, this is the set of brush that has all this in it. Yes. So, you can either use your angled brush. This is what the angled brush looks like. Or you use this brush. This is the concealer brush. I prefer to use the concealer brush. It's just... Your personal preference so i'll go in with the concealer and then gently gently you want to highlight your brow just make it pop out the more so you go under And then blend it downwards. So that is it. So you notice that we did not go to the, we did not touch the upper part of our brow yet. Yes. So we are not going to use this concealer for the upper part of our brow. For the upper part of the brow, it's advisable to use your foundation or a concealer that is the same shade as you. But because as a beginner, you might not have a lot of wide range of concealer, it is better to use your foundation because definitely the foundation you are going to be using for your face is going to be your exact shade. So it is better to use your foundation to conceal the upper part of your brow just so it is not looking very light. It is okay if this lower part of your brow is looking light just to make your brow bone to pop up. But for the upper part of the brow, you have to use a concealer or a foundation that is your exact shade. So now we are going to be blending this out. And to blend it out, we need our blending brush. But we can use our blending sponge when dry. What we are going to do is we are going to wet our blending sponge. We are going to make it damp. Yes, put it in the water and squeeze out the water very, very well. We just want it to be damp, not wet, and not dry. Okay, guys, so this is my damp blending brush. If you notice, the blending brush became bigger in size when it became damp. Yes, it becomes bigger in size when it is damp as compared to when it is wet. So what you want to do is go just slightly pat your blending brush. Pat it like this. Just pat it in. Pat it in slowly, gently. And it will blend in. After blending it, you want to go in again with your brush just to further define it. To further define it, For the upper part of our brow, we are going to go in with the foundation, like I said earlier. Now, my foundation, I use the Issa and Dose Super Stay Matte Foundation. Now, the reason why my foundation is matte is because I have an oily skin. Just to, you know, further help me to control the oil 
and not make my makeup look oily and greasy later in the day. If you have a dry skin, you do not need to look for a mattifying foundation or a matte foundation. You can go for an hydrating foundation. Yes, or a moisturizing foundation. Now, this is in the shade Caramel. So, I'll just put a little bit at the back of my hands again. Just a little bit. Now, going in with that same concealer brush, I'm going to define the upper part of my brows. If you want to define the upper part of your brow do not go upward go in a sideward direction put your brush in a sideward direction just not to make the top part look too sharp like i said we do not want this top part looking too defined and sharp just very neat so you go in like that So you blend, blend that out. Even if it is not fully blended out, you can still leave it because you are still going to go into your foundation and your foundation is still going to be applied to this part of your face. So when you are blending out your foundation, you blend it with your foundation. So after we are done with our brow, it is time for the rest of the face. So for the rest of the face, we are going to go in with our foundation, the same Issa and those foundation. Now, for your foundation, one mistake many people make is they put a lot of foundation. So much of foundation is not good. Your face will start looking like a plastered cement on your face. Just a little bit of foundation is enough to go around. Just a little bit. So what I'm going to do, put at the back of my hand. This is not too much. Then, with my concealer brush, I'll just go in like that. Just a little bit. This is enough. This is enough. So after blending our foundation properly, we are going to go in with our concealer. Yes, the same LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade form. Now, for our concealer, like I said earlier, you want to go in, you want to get a concealer that is one to two shades lighter than your normal shades, just to highlight some parts of your area. Now, what parts of your face do you need to highlight? Now, you need to highlight under your eyes, under your eyes, just apply a little bit on your cupid's bow. Your chin, the bridge of your nose and your forehead. Don't blend it immediately, you put it in. It allows your concealer to sit in a little bit and then it gives you more coverage. Going in with the same blending sponge, just look for a place where you haven't used to blend your foundation a clean spot and use it to blend your concealer the same blending brush now don't forget you are using patting motion Now, after blending, you want to go in and set the concealer because you can't just leave your concealer like that. You have to set it with a powder to avoid it from getting cakey and shaking and moving. 
data in the day. So to set my concealer, I'm going to be going in with my powder palette. This is the Who's That Girl color powder palette. Now this is very affordable. The six in one color powder palette that you can use to contour and to highlight. That's to set your highlight and also to contour. And you can also use the shades that is perfect for you to set the rest of your makeup. For that, we'll be needing this powder puff. This powder puff. Go in with a lighter shade. Like I said, you want to use a shade that is two, one to two shades lighter than you for the on, under of your eyes and the other parts that we are lighter. So I'm going to be using this shade. This is the butter. Now after setting that, I'm going to go in to give my face definition. My face looks very flat right now. I'm going to contour and to contour, I'll use this dark shade of powder. For that, I'm using this my 2-in-1 angled brush. It's an angled brush, but it's a bigger angled brush. Now that we are going to use to contour the sides of your face just to give it definition. So using these shades, I'm going to be using these two shades. These two shades, joining it together and using it to contour my face. For your contour, you are going upward, upward motion. To you know the perfect place you are supposed to contour, use this side. Your hair, you see your hair. Use the angle of your hair. That is where you know the perfect part to contour, the perfect part of your face to contour, like this. I think that is is giving a definition. It's coming together. Now, if you notice, when I was concealing my under eye i also went into my eyelid that means we have concealer on my eyelid and when we're blending the lower part of our brow we went into the eyelid so we want to set that as well so i'll just use this you now because we already have that i'll use this dust it out and go in here guys if you notice this was even it's already even starting to get cakey that's because i didn't set it on time I don't know if you can see that. It's already getting cakey. So I just use my hand to blend it. Now this is the essence of setting your concealer. You have to set your concealer with powder to prevent it from getting cakey. So because I didn't set it on time, it was already getting cakey. So blend it in and just set that like that. Our nose, we are going to contour our nose as well using this little blending brush. Now, not forgetting our eyelid, we are going to use our. I have this very old eyeshadow palette it contains quite a range of colors so i'm just going to be going in with this brown shade here nothing too glam just very very natural so after that we are going to go in with our eyeliner so this is the mac real pen eyeliner
after that, our powder is already sitting in into our skin. Everything is blending gradually. But there is something that is going to help us to just make everything blend in and look very seamless. But before that, let's do our lips. Now for our lips, the first thing you want to do is to line your lips. You always need to line your lips. And for that, you need your brown eye pencil, which double as a lip liner. So I'm going to be using the same eye pencil I use or brow pencil I use. So you always want to use a brown shade. You always want to use a brown shade. You can never go wrong with a brown shade, a simple brown shade to line your lips. So Now, after lining the lip, you can just go in with your lip gloss, a very simple lip gloss, and do the trick. Another thing you can use is your nude lipstick. You can never go wrong with a nude lipstick. As a beginner, you need a nude lipstick. You do need a nude lipstick. This is my nude lipstick. It's kind of stained with brown because of frequent use. But we're going to go in just with a little bit of that in the middle of my lips. almost forgot mascara oh my god <laughs> so mascara is supposed to come after our eyeliner for the last step of our makeup what we're going to be needing is our setting spray this setting spray is very important it just changes the game for your makeup it sets all your makeup in making your makeup look less powdery yes it makes your makeup look less powdery. you just set everything in and give it a very nice look so let's go with our setting spray now this is the kiss beauty bear with me three in one spray it's a primer it primes it sets and it refreshes now i'm going to set all of that in Ooh. Now after using your setting spray, you go in with your blending sponge and just dab everything in. Just dab everything in. Lightly. And voila guys, we are all done. Wasn't that so easy, straight to the point and nice? yes so that is all the makeup products that you will need to get this beautiful full face of makeup very simple neutral look yes now if you have any questions please drop in the comment section like this video subscribe guys please do not forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye